Hi, and welcome to this lesson on force diagrams. A block of weight W is being pulled to the right by a force P across a rough horizontal plane. Draw a force diagram to show all the forces acting on the block. P is the force pulling the block. Because the plane is a rough horizontal plane, it's going to have a resistance against the movement. Let's represent this with a capital F. We dealt with the horizontal forces, now let's deal with the vertical forces. The force acting downwards is the weight of the block. We can show this by an arrow pointing downwards and label it with a W. We also have a force acting vertically upwards. We represent this with a capital R and this is the normal reaction of the rough horizontal plane on the block. If we would not have this, the particle would just keep falling downwards. Newton's first law of motion states that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object moving with constant velocity will continue to move with constant velocity unless an unbalanced force acts on the object. The forces could act in any direction. However, in this video we will only show forces that are horizontal or vertical. Example 2. The diagram shows the forces acting on a particle. Draw a force diagram to represent the resultant force. Describe the motion of the particle. In this example we have more than one force acting on the particle. The direction we are resolving in becomes the positive direction. We can resolve these forces by adding or subtracting forces acting in the opposite direction. Resolving the forces vertically upwards, we have 50 newtons minus 50 newtons, which is equal to 0 newtons. When the forces acting on an object are balanced, the object is said to be in equilibrium. It means it's not moving and their forces would sum up to a 0. Resolving the forces horizontally to the right, we have 20 newtons plus 15 newtons minus 30 newtons equals 5 newtons. Therefore, the particle will accelerate to the right. A truck is moving along a horizontal road. The truck's engine provides a forward thrust. The motion of the truck is opposed by a constant resistance. For point A, model the truck as a particle Draw a force diagram to show the forces acting on the truck. For point B, given that the resultant force acting on the truck is 5000 newtons in the direction of motion and that the magnitude of the driving force is 4 times the magnitude of the resistance force, calculate the magnitude of the resistance. The forces acting on the truck are the forward thrust, let's label this with a capital P, we have the opposing force, let's label this with capital F, the weight of the truck acting downwards and the normal reaction force acting upwards. Given that the resultant force acting on the truck is 5000 newtons in the direction of motion, we can write this as P minus F is equal to 5000 newtons. We also know that P is equal to 4 times F. Replacing the values, we have 4F minus F is equal to 5000. With this we have calculated the magnitude of the resistance force. Capital F is equal to 1666.6 recurring newtons.